Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today my girlfriend zombie has gone ahead and sent us to this awesome village where apparently these villagers have gone ahead and set up for us some brand new TNTs which I think is going to be so fun today but I'm a little bit scared that the villagers have gone ahead and placed them all on a wall which could easily blow up so what I'm going to do is hurry up and get out of here now they've given us a book and a flint and steel so let's go see what the book says Hello Navid, welcome to our village, where we make and test out brand new TNTs that could be added to the game. Let's give you a few to test out before you touch something that could blow up. Yep, <laughs> that's why I'm a little bit scared of this wall. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the book back and let's go see what TNTs they're going to give us. Cool! So they've given us a chest full of TNTs. Do you know what? I'm going to take out every single one and let's go and test them out and figure out what they do. Thank you, villagers! You guys are awesome! Do you know what? I'm a little bit scared, so I'm going to pretty much test out these TNTs slightly away from the village. So, guys, let's go figure out which TNTs we have first to test out. And hopefully, they could all be so great that even Minecraft would want to add them to the game. This is going to be so good. I'm going to spawn the first one right around here. Let's do this. The Arrow TNT. Here we go! Let's go see what it's going to do. I have a feeling it's just going to shoot arrows everywhere. <laughs> we already died on the first one. Okay, this is crazier than I thought. Villagers, you guys have definitely made these TNTs super destructive. I'm going to spawn the next one right on this hill, which is the drilling TNT. It's pretty obvious by the image on the side. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Let's go see what's going to happen. I think it's going to drill all the way down. Did it work? Oh, it did, but it's only gone ahead and done one by one. I thought he was going to blow up the whole area. But guys, I guess if you dig straight down, this is what you would have found. Basically, just water right at the bottom. Now, I want to go ahead and do the next one, which is called the Mankind's Mark, which is a very unusual name for TNT. So do you know what? I'm going to do this one right by the arrow TNT we just did. Let's do it right around here. Hopefully being by the desert is a great option for us. Now instantly, I just noticed it was going to create a structure, which I think is so fun. Look, I've never seen anything like this before. TNTs that spawn awesome structures. Maybe the villagers are looking for a brand new house. Well, let's find the entrance and let's figure out how to get inside. Oh, the door is right here. Okay, right inside we go. And it seems like we've got crafting tables, furnaces, some beds for the wonderful sheep. And if we go upstairs, we have more wonderful items. But sadly, all the chests are empty. But you know what? This is so fun. Having spawning this from one TNT is absolutely amazing. But sadly, we're probably going to have to blow it up now by spawning more TNTs. Let me go and do the Sphere TNT. Let's go see what happens to the Mankind's Mark TNT if we put this right here. Here we go. The Sphere TNT. Now, we've got to be careful with this one. I have a feeling it's going to create uh, TNTs in a spherical manner. Oh, wait. It's gone ahead and blown up the area in a perfect circle. That is so good. Okay, the only thing that scares me about this is that just say we were close to bedrock. We'd have gotten rid of that as well. Okay, let's get out of here before something dangerous happens. I'm going to spawn the Easter Egg TNT. Now, I'm not sure if this has something to do with Easter, or if it just means we have to go ahead and find out where the TNT is going to end up. Let's do this. I'm going to do it right here. I'm perfect. Oh, wait. What does it say? Oh, maybe we've seen it from the wrong side. Let's see what it says. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I didn't have a chance to see it. Wait. It's still blowing up. And it's spawning more. Okay, that's insane. I didn't realize it was going to spawn so many more TNTs. But yep, this definitely has to do with pumpkin time and also melon time, which I think is perfect. Well, guys, let me go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the TNT firework. I have a feeling this one's going to go straight into the sky and pretty much blow up our whole world with fireworks. Oops, it's gone already. Let's go see what happens. No! <laughs> it's not fireworks. Okay, that's not good whatsoever. I can't believe how scary that was. Wait, who took the TNT wall? Villagers, there's a thief among us. It seems like someone has gone ahead and taken all the TNTs. We have to get to the bottom of this, guys. If someone's stolen all those TNTs without us testing them out, maybe they'll be added to the game and they could be really dangerous. Okay, let's keep on testing them out until we figure out who's taken them. I'm going to do the ocean TNT. I'm guessing this one's going to spawn loads of water. 
Here we go. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> it's the whole area. And I think it's also created some depth to the area. Yes, it has. So it seems like it's made it a lot bigger and also just added water absolutely everywhere. And it's even cut some of the trees in half, which I think is insane. But I didn't expect any of this to be around a village. Look, now they have a giant ocean, which is not so bad, I guess. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the TNT times 20. Let's go see what it does to this tiny mountain. Let's spawn this right there. And let's get ready to run because it's going to have the power of 20 TNTs. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> Hopefully this tree can save us. Oh, that's not so bad. Guys, what do you think? Was that the power of 20 TNTs? Hmm, I'm going to have to figure it out very soon. If the villagers say it is, then I guess I have no choice but to go ahead and believe them. Well, guys, let's keep on going. I'm going to go ahead and take out the next row of TNTs, and let's go and do this. I'm going to go and spawn the next one right on this side of the village. The Hellfire TNT. Okay, let's do this right here, and let's go and do this. Whoa! So it's lit the TNT alight, and there's also particles coming from all sides. Let's see what's going to happen. Wait! It spawned gas everywhere! No! It's pretty much brought the nether straight to us. Okay, let's try and get out of here before everything tries and kills us. <laughs> this is crazy! Villagers, run! This is not good whatsoever. It's gone ahead and destroyed our whole world and pretty much created a giant nether effect. This is just crazy. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I have no choice. We have to go ahead and do this. If not, we could easily die. Okay, this is going to be crazy. Let's get away from the village and let's go spawn the next row of TNTs. I can't do it whilst everything is being surrounded by ghasts. It's going to destroy everything. Watch out, villagers. They're trying to kill you. This is not good. So I've gone to the other side of the village where I want to go ahead and spawn the next one, which is called... Pompeii, which I have a feeling is going to spawn a giant volcano. Just look at the TNT. It's pretty much what's going to happen. Here we go. Let's do this. I'm going to run away from this one. I don't want to go ahead and get consumed by a giant volcano. Whoa. Okay. That's not what I expected to happen today. It's gone ahead and spawned loads of TNTs everywhere. Watch out. And it's now spawned lava. Okay. This is insane. I didn't expect any of this. Now we have to go ahead and avoid everything because everything could easily just hurt us. This is just crazy. I feel so sorry for everything that lived inside that forest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully spawn something that can sort this out. Let's do the meteor shower. I'm going to do it right here. Here we go. Anything? Now, I'm not really sure if that means a meteor will come from the sky. Wait. Oh. Oh, it's just spawning randomly. Ah. Oh. Watch out! It could easily hurt us! There it goes! <laughs> this is crazy! This meat is coming from the sky as the shape of TNTs. Okay, this whole world is going to get completely destroyed. Guys, I'm not sure if Minecraft should ever add these to the game. They're just well too dangerous. I know for certain that so many of you guys would just destroy each other's houses. Okay, let's spawn the Heaven's Gate, which is going to be our next awesome TNT. I'm going to do it right here. I do think it's going to go ahead and spawn an island right above us. Let's go see if it's going to do that. Anything? Now, I don't see any island, and I don't see anything else happening. But I do see loads of things falling to the ground. Hmm, very unusual. Let's just give it one minute, just in case it is trying to spawn this Heaven's Gate. Oh, something happened. Whoa, <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, I think what it's gone ahead and done, rather than spawn something above us, is dragged it all up above. Let's go up there and see what's happened. Ah, I knew it. I knew that's what's happened. When we went ahead and actually spawned it right in front of us, it's gone ahead and dragged everything up away from the ground. That is just crazy. And I do think the village is still right around there, pretty much a fire. Now, I want to spawn this next one, I guess, right on top of here. The gravity in TNT. I think all this one's going to do is just give us a bit of levitation. Let's see what's going to happen. Wait, <laughs> what's it doing to us? This is not good. Guys, whoa. Okay, we got to land in water. Let's try and do this. Now, I'm not really sure where we're falling just yet, but I don't think that's going to be great news. Ah, we just died. Okay, we're back, but I do think something really evil just happened. Okay, I'm going to spawn the next one, which I'm going to do is the flat TNT. Let's spawn it right here, and it should probably flatten everything in the whole area. Let's just go and get slightly away from it and figure out what's going to happen. 
Cool, that's so awesome. I could use that one so much in building and making a foundation for wonderful houses. Let's go and do the freeze TNT. Now I'm guessing this one's gonna go ahead and freeze everything in the whole area. Let's have a quick look. Cool, I love the blue particles, that was amazing. Now, I'm not really sure what I can do with all this ice, but I do think it is really awesome. Well, let's go and do this. Let's go and spawn the next few TNTs in a brand new area. But before we do that, let's go and do the hexahedron. I'm going to do this one right here. Whoa! So it's gone ahead and created a little area around it where none of us can touch it. Ah, it's a perfect square! <laughs> that is so good! Okay, I'm actually pretty certain that every single one of these has been made by a mathematician villager. Well guys, we've got a whole new road to go and do, so let's go and do this. I'm ready to spawn the next few TNTs in a brand new area. Well, here we are in our brand new spot where I'm going to go ahead and spawn the brick house. Now I'm guessing this one shouldn't hurt us whatsoever. I'm just hoping it will go ahead and spawn our house. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it did. Let's go see what's inside. Cool. I could easily use this. This is one of the best houses ever. And it's a lot quicker than probably going ahead and making it yourself. Well, I'm going to leave that right there. And let's go and see if it survives the next few TNTs. Like the ghost TNT. Here we go. Let's go see what's going to happen. Is it going to spawn dangerous creatures? Oh, it's gone ahead and given us loads of cool features. But sadly, one of them is nausea and also blindness. But now that we're invisible, hopefully we should be invisible to the next few TNTs that are the cubic TNT. Let's go and do this one right here. Here we go. Let's go see what's going to happen. Now, cubic usually means a cube which might be a perfect square again. Yes, it is, but it's a lot smaller than the hexahedron one. So let's go and do the next one, which is the floating island. Now I'm hoping this one will just go ahead and create the island above us without destroying this one down below. Let's go see. Oh, I think it did. Oh, and it might just be a copy of what's down below. Let's go and have a quick look. It is, it is exactly a copy of what's down below. This is where we went ahead and spawned the hexahedron one or the cubic one. And then everything else is exactly a replica of what's down below. But I don't think we're going to be able to make it down now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and spawn the Poseidon wave. Let's go see what's going to happen. Wait, sometimes it's not good when you hear thunder after spawning Poseidon's one. Let's go see what's going to happen. Any waves? Anything? Okay, that's kind of scary. I'm not sure if a wave's going to come from a distance or if it's going to spawn a wave right here. Oh, there's something. Wait, is that a squid? Ah, wait, something happened. Let's go see. It's changed the whole world <laughs> into water. That's really awful. Guys, we have to get out of here. If we want to go and spawn the rest of these TNTs, we're going to have to do it so far from this water. Well, that's what it went and spawned. It seems like it's a giant circle of water, which is definitely a lot more powerful than a lot of these other TNTs. Let's go and do the Grove TNT. I'm going to do this one right there, and let's go and see what happens. Hopefully, we don't die from this one. I haven't died from a lot of TNTs recently. Oh, a grove in the sense of loads of trees. That is great. But it does seem like some of these trees don't belong in this biome. But I'm not one here to complain. So let's go and do the chemical TNT, which doesn't have a good ring to it. I do think this one's going to go ahead and spawn something nuclear. Here we go. Let's go see what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to stand back from this one. And hopefully the sunflowers can go ahead and get rid of loads of the chemical items. Oh, what's that sound? Okay, it seems like it's dragged everything down below, which is very unusual. Okay, let's keep on going because I still want to go ahead and spawn the next few. But sadly, we are stuck in here. So let me go to, again, a brand new area where hopefully we can spawn the next few TNTs. But getting out of here is going to take some time. Well, guys, here we are back near the village once again where I'm just going to spawn the last four, which is the Dust Bowl, which I'm guessing is going to create some sort of desert biome. So let's stand back whilst it heats everything around us and it'll probably spawn loads of sand. Oh, wait! Rather than sand, it's killed everything in the whole area. Okay, I don't think I want this one added to Minecraft ever. Imagine you've just planted your whole farm and then someone blows this up. It's the perfect trolling TNT. Well, let me go and do the compact TNT, which I'm guessing is just going to be a very small TNT. But maybe with a big punch. Let's go have a quick look. Oops! Wait, no, no, it's going to blow them all up. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Whoa. Okay, 
Thankfully, the sand ended up saving us, which is awesome. But let's also go and do the erupting TNT. Let's do it right here. Hidden away. <gasps> Whoa! It's better than the volcano one. Okay, this is turning out to be well too scary. But you know what? I'm going to get away from all those TNTs and let's go and spawn the last one. The Hell's Gate. Now this one is going to change our whole world and probably end everything for good. No! What's it doing to our whole world? It's changing everything! Okay. Whoa! Okay, this can't be good. Whatever is going on, something is about to happen. It's above us! It's created a giant sphere that's going to destroy our whole world. Well, guys, I think that's it. Everything is now destroyed for good. And we're stuck inside this giant bowl with lava everywhere. Well, guys, I will see you soon with the crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below, button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. Now, how do I get out of here? I guess our only choice is to jump in the water. Peace out.